This is I, Neil, interviewing Richard Moonstone, who's a, a really interesting um, musical artist. I wanted to look into music as a whole, so I decided I was going to um, maybe start from a, a classical perspective, because that's an area in which I, I felt that there was a lot, a lot of space for, for creativity. Um, I felt that, especially with the piano, which is an instrument that I love, um, I love the sounds of it, and I felt that probably um, maybe I had more to give in terms of that perspective than to go straight into a, a pop thing. Um, I started with this album simply because the original idea came from um, the idea that I wanted to write a ballet. Um, I met a Cuban dancer who's quite well known right now um, in Ronnie Scott's and we discussed the idea of a ballet and you know in the end it didn't happen because he had other contractual agreements with the Royal Ballet but I decided that you know sometime later I've decided I'm going to go ahead with it and do this ballet and I thought Maybe I should start by just doing this particular album before going into that. I don't know if that helps. Richard, um, I'm sure the, your listeners would um, love to hear a, a little bit about your, mu your personal musical background and um, who the artists were that have inspired you um, throughout your musical uh, career. Oh, that's... Uh... That's, that, that's quite a lot in one question. Um, in terms of my, my background, I was born in, in Uganda, um, East Africa. I left as a two-year-old boy um, and moved to Moscow. Um, I've been traveling ever since, but um, I moved to England uh, at the age of 12, and, and um, so my biggest influence is of England. I mean, you probably notice um, in our first kiss there's a section, a little segment in which I try to depict the, the London rain, showers hitting the floor, um, playing it, that out on piano. I, I try to do that. Um, so that, that, that's really because of my, my, uh, my love of the rain in London, which I hate the fact everybody complains about. Um, in terms of my, my musical background um, and my, my influences, um, a lot of my influence comes from rare groove music. So I, I, I love people like Leroy Hudson, um, which is a name I think everybody should, should listen to. Um, Marvin Gaye um, is somebody I, it actually upset me quite it was quite traumatic, I could even say, as a young boy when I heard that he was he died. Um, I thought it was it was the first of April. I remember, so I thought it was April Fools. Actually, when I heard that, um, well, my other influence is Jimi Hendrix. I love his experimentation, the sounds. I, I think what he's introduced to music is 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 crazy. Um, I also love classical music. Uh, one person I think I should mention is Joseph Boulogne, who is a, a black composer because not enough black composers are talked about. And he was, for 10 years, um, he, he was known as the, the, the greatest composer and a conductor in, in, in Europe, so in the world, you could say. So he's quite a heavy in influence, especially on um, especially on uh, our first kiss. Um, I would say piano-wise probably Thelonious Monk is my biggest influence. Um, he used to be criticized for the way he hit the piano like a drum, um, but he, he was a genius who without him there would be no John Coltrane and there would be no Jimi Hendrix. So he, he is to me a very important person in my life. Um, all the freedom I have in terms of trying to find new ideas on the piano, in terms of um, the way I play it, 
which involves using my the back of my hand um, which involves looking to see what sounds you can get and enjoying the instrument for its sounds and try to communicate the beauty within those sounds which others might not focus so much on so quite often you might find me stick around a certain area of the piano and just keep hitting that note because I want people to, to feel what I'm feeling and it might be a bit silly because maybe not everybody enjoys the sound of the piano like I do but <laughs> but yeah those are those that is the background of my influences I would say and um, yeah I guess that's all that's all I can say I mean if I was to say lyrically I would say that Stephen X influenced me as a writer in hearing the poetry within her lyrics and, and that gave me the energy to want to write write songs and poetry um, from a very young age from from the age of 14 um, but yeah I would say those are all my influences yeah Richard, um, your second track, um, you've called it Bazim, Form of a Woman, and I've, um, could you tell me a, a, a bit about this track and, and um, the emotions that you were feeling when you um, composed this track? Um, this track, um, Bazim, Form of a Woman, is... Uh, it's to do with trying to express um, what I feel women have to more or less um, deal with in themselves and that um, I always see women as the bedrock of civilization um, what they learn about themselves and their form their being and how they communicate that to men in their immaturity um, so that is, it's, it's, to, it's to do with the beauty that makes up a woman, which includes all those things, and, and how um, the power, I wanted to express the power within that, within that beauty that makes a woman what she is, that's and all the complications within what she has to deal with as a woman, and how she tries to communicate that to a man, so the song involves a lot of the the, the, the the complexities of a woman that I see from a man's perspective I guess but yeah that's that's really what it's about her beauty and and all that she is in her form and the power that is as a as a uh, as a tool in, 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 in teaching us about civilization if that if that makes any sense at all.
Um, it's uh, the, the experiment is the, the experiment is that slow motion sound that 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 slow motion sound that that slow motion slow motion slow motion is a slow motion sound I'm trying to get in within these these compositions. The, the experiment is the experiment is the, the experiment is is a slow motion slow motion slow motion slow motion sound slow motion sound.